this is again you know an exclusive type made at the court enameled at the court as this type particularly that connoisseurs refer to as guya xuan we expect the piece to fetch in excess of 200 million hong kong dollars I've offered it once before, uh, back in 2003, on the occasion of our 30th anniversary um, of Sotheby's Hong Kong. And at the time, it was an object that was discovered by our then chairman, Julian Thompson, uh, the great porcelain uh, expert. And he discovered it in France. And so it's remained in the same private collection for 15 years. And it's a great occasion for us to, to be able to present it again. Well, Kangxi Falangtsai is the earliest type of Falangtsai. And the ball that we saw last time, one of the two, three finest examples of Kangxi Falangtsai ever to have been made. Qianlong Falangtsai is very different, as this type particularly that connoisseurs refer to as Gu Ye Xuan, uh, where you have both uh, a design uh, m with a matching poem. This is again, you know, an exclusive type made at the court, enameled at the court, under the supervision of Jesuit painters, very possibly by court painters rather than porcelain decorators that you'd find in, working in Jingdezhen. Uh, with those uh, incredibly translucent petals. It also has, it refers actually this uh, umiren, um, the word poppy in Chinese refers to an old story of Sima Qian, the historian Sima Qian, and this is what the poem is about. So it refers to uh, Lady Yu, um, and it's on her burial, place of burial, that apparently these poppies um, first grew. So that is the story that is recounted on this bowl. Um, this design in Guya Xuan is extremely rare. We only find it on two dishes uh, in the Taipei Palace Museum uh, that date to the Yongzheng period, that predate this bowl. So this bowl would have been made, maybe enameled by the same painters. That's a possibility because, of course, between the reigns of Emperor Yongzheng and Qianlong, there is no rupture at the palace workshops. It's the very same people who continue working there. And I, and I would expect this bowl to have been produced quite early on in Emperor Qianlong's reign. I must say we do not have a record as to who chose the, the poem. But obviously the, the palace workshops produce things um, objects that particularly pleased the emperor. He was involved in all aspects of uh, what was produced uh, for him. So there's a high chance that he, would have, that he would have chosen the poem and the design himself. We expect the piece to fetch in excess of 200 million Hong Kong dollars. I think it's a perfectly fair uh, price to ask and um, one that should elicit some competition.